In this video, you'll learn about the MENA protocol project, its technology and potential, as well as about the project token itself, MENA. Subscribe to the channel and let's get started. The main MENA protocol network has recently launched, as well as its token sale. You can find the video about token sales on CoinList in the description. The MENA protocol is designed to solve three key problems. The first is the problem of decentralization. The fact is that most blockchains are quite voluminous. For example, to raise a full Bitcoin node, you will need to synchronize, that is, check starting from the first block, the blockchain that is over 330 gigabytes. And this is not the limit. The amount of transactions, and therefore blocks, every day will get bigger, which means the size of the blockchain will grow. And this is the problem. Due to the fact that the verification process is rather time-consuming and costs resources, the vast majority of users delegate verification to operators, nodes, instead of performing verification themselves. The mean the blockchain is 22 kilobytes in size, which is about a few tweets. Thus, every end user on any device, be it a computer or a smartphone, can easily become a complete node for himself without the need to trust the results of third-party checks. This makes the MENA network truly decentralized. But how is it possible? How can the entire huge history of transactions fit into 22 kilobytes? This is where the ZK Snarks technology comes to our rescue. ZK Snarks are something like unfinished certificates that are confirming the correctness of calculations. These certificates take up very little space and are very easy to verify. Thus, the handler creates snarks together with the block. Each such snark certificate literally tells us if we take this block and add it to the database 1, then we'll get database 2. Database 1 is the state of the blockchain in the past, before the block was added, and database 2 is the state of the blockchain after the block was added. You could check the transaction yourself, or calculate all the inputs and outputs of the transaction, check double spendings, but thanks to ZK Snarks, you only need to get a certificate. That confirms this, no matter how large the block was and how many transactions there were, the Snark size will be approximately 1 kilobyte. The end user verifies such a certificate. But how can you be sure that the previous Snark, which was a verification certificate of that from database 0 we got database 1, was correct? We could use a chain of Snarks, in the same way as it happens with blocks in the blockchain. Although snarks are much smaller than a block, in this case, the size of a blockchain would still grow steadily. MENA protocol uses a more elegant solution. Since ZK snarks can be a confirmation of any computation, and checking and chaining snarks is also a computation, why not use snarks to check the chain? Let's imagine that we have two snarks. The first one confirms that from database 0 we got database 1. The second snark confirms that from database 1 we got database 2. And by checking both snarks we get one that says that from database 0 we got database 2. Note that the size of the snark remains the same, about 1 kilobyte. Proceeding in this way, for example having two snarks that confirms that from database 0 we got database 2 and that from database 2 we got database 4, we can check and merge them again, getting one snark telling us that from database 0 we got database database 4. The snark size remains the same. We can easily say that each new snark contains a check of all previous ones, which is nothing otherwise as an example of recursion. Together, with such a mega snark weighing about 1 kilobyte, end users, which we are, receive a so-called Merkle path. In simple words, this is an efficient way to prove that your transactions are in blocks without having you to know the complete list of transactions. As a result, the mega snark itself, Merkle path, and the snark verification key gives us the same 22 kilobytes and a few milliseconds to synchronize the entire blockchain. In addition to decentralization, this gives MENA the opportunity for extremely extensive scalability. Since when in other blockchains an increase in number of transactions leads to the fact that blockchain will grow faster than users have to time to verify it, MENA is safe from that due to a blockchain with a constant size. The MENA protocol, thanks to its architecture, can privately and directly interact with any website, as well as provide secure confirmation of any information without the need to disclose the information itself. In this regard, MENA offers a completely new kind of decentralized application called Snaps, Snarkified Applications. Snaps are similar in functionality to dApps in the Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain networks, but surpasses them by three properties. Data verification capabilities without providing the data itself, checks without significant resources cost on any device, and much more scalability. With the help of Snaps, you can perform almost any action, from confirming your credit worthiness to making a private login to your account. There are two types of nodes in the MENA protocol, the production of the blocks using the proof-of-stake protocol and for the production of snarks. The former one, by producing blocks, receive rewards for blocks and transaction fees in the block. They can also become producers of snark. Snark producers make the blockchain so lightweight and scalable. 
Snark producers trade Snarks with the block producers, receiving in return a portion of the block's rewards and the operation performed. The Mina token, which was recently sold on the Coinless platform, was an important part of the project needed to launch the main network. You can already delegate your Mina tokens and get the staking profits. With a total initial supply of 1 billion Mina tokens, 28% has been allocated to early investors and token sales on Coinlist. About 13.5% are in the Mina Foundation and O1 Labs, some of which will be used to expand the network of validators. The biggest part, over 34%, was distributed to the community mainly in the form of stake for validators. Those who are lucky enough to buy Mina on the token sale or are considering buying now should pay attention to the coin unlocking schedule. Every day the Mina market supply is growing due to the block producers rewards and soon from unlocking purchases of early investors. Also shortly after the launch of the main network we will see the largest surge in the influx of the Mina into circulating supply. The project has been developed, tested and modified since 2017 under the name Coda, which was replaced by Mina Protocol in the October 2020. Support for smart contracts will be added soon, which will further expand the range of possible uses of the project. Open development of the project is still underway and you can join in bringing Mina Protocol closer to the status of the most accessible blockchain providing large-scale decentralization. Explore the world of cryptocurrencies and subscribe to our Twitter, Krypton Live. All links will be in the description.